David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. This is our first day on the job site. This is what we're going to be doing. We're gonna, I'm just going to show you a brief overview of what we're going to try to accomplish here. This is this whole backyard is getting uh, leveled out. We're removing all of this stone here, and it was set on top of concrete. Looks like they did a pretty solid job on this. But it's all coming out. We're going to do uh, about a three foot planter bed around the entire block wall perimeter. That won't have any concrete. It'll be left dirt for future planting. And then we're going to do a uh, ashlar slate stamped concrete gray throughout this whole area and then down the side of the house as well. Um, over here, this wood fence um, is coming apart. this this thing is uh, due for a replacement we're not going to do wood though this time we're going to do block so we're going to get a permit to do this block wall here then that'll probably be we're going we're to finish this wall before we can actually do the slab it's just an easier way of doing things that way getting in and out of here bringing stuff uh, you don't want to bring it over the new freshly stamped concrete so we'll get this completed first this is going to be a two-part video, actually, in this job, and it's it's the concrete, it's the block wall, and uh, whatever else we run into on this job site. I think phase two will be stuccoing this entire wall, maybe adding another block here to complete this, and then just stuck. This has been added on a few times throughout the what 80 years since this house has been built and remodeled. It was a single story, now it's two story. So the homeowner already had some of the underground redone. The sewer actually drains out the back of this property instead of to the street. The sewer runs in between the houses, the main. Um, a lot of times they run down the street, but in this case it runs in the back along the pole, the pole lines basically. Then over here, we've got a nice sprinkler system here. It's all copper coming in, PVC going out. This is your main, main water line going into the house. There's your ground. Now this valve here operates your shutoff for your sprinkler valves. Well, we're going to box out around all this. We'll leave an area of dirt around these valves and this water main. Nice thing about this foundation of this house, it's a raised. So you actually have a 18 inch crawl space under the house. So you could actually run new um, lines wherever you wanted to, if you had to, without disturbing, you know, the exterior concrete or, or softscape. Everything could go under the house. So that's the nice thing about raised foundations. Here, there is an access, but that's on the other side of the house to get under there. We got a few things here since it's been remodeled that um, it's really not going to affect me, but it's kind of interesting at the same time. This line here, we believe it's gas. And we think that that line goes up the wall into a attic heater, not an attic, yeah, basically the um, attic space, that's where the heater is, so that's where we think that gas goes. And we think it branches off right here. Here's your meter, gas meter. Um, this is in going to the house. And then this, we believe, we're not sure, although it doesn't really affect me unless I hit it with a tractor or something, then I need to know these things, but really it's something I don't really even need to know. But just for fun, we think this goes down here. We sh think it shoots over here and then it goes up. Why it does that, we don't know, but this house has been added on. Like I said, it was a single story. So 
a lot of things happen that you really don't really know about, but um, we'll figure it out eventually. Oh, here's another thing that's interesting. There's your electric, and this comes out from under the, it comes from the pan, comes from underneath the house, drops down here, and it goes all the way around to the um, garage. So we know we have a conduit with um, electric right there that these things you got to think about a little bit when you start probing and digging you don't really want to break them here's a new sewer clean out we may have to adjust the elevation they were actually relined this is old clay sewer pipes which is really good material the only problem with the clay pipe is that um, they're joined they're four foot sections and they're just slipped together that's the only time they fail is on the couplings from tree roots and settlement they come apart at those couplings other than that the material is uh really great i've never seen one um with any type of uh just decomposing or they, they look like the day you put them in i mean they could be 100 years old and they're still like the day you put them in but now we're going to some ABS here. This is your two directional Y right here. So you can clean out this way, you can clean out backwards. See here it is. You can go either way on that. The rest of this pipe under the house, there's some cast I believe inside. There was some clay where the clay pipes actually kind of separated from roots of the settlement. They actually relined it all. It's, it's some sort of an epoxy coating that lines the inside wall. Much easier to do that than to replace it. Somewhere around here, this, this sewer is about five to six feet at this point we're only 20 feet from the back of the house so it really drops off and everything's shooting on this angle so we know that because of the direction everything is going we know the mains right here is deep enough I don't have to be concerned with it this palm pretty solid I can't really move it at all I don't feel any movement in that so that's freshly cut. No decomposing on the roots at all. It hasn't, so that's gonna be a challenge to get out. But we will try this tractor. I decided to go with this particular tractor. And uh, doesn't mean it was outperforming the mini bobcat, the dingo. The only thing I didn't try was a ditch switch, but I did look at some of the specs. And this um, has higher specs on every category. So this is what I went with, the best in this category. Well, I'm gonna hook a chain to this. I know it has the best traction too. I'm gonna put a chain right here. See this? I'm gonna uh, put a chain on here, put it around that palm. I'm gonna see if I can make it move. And if it doesn't move that way, I may run this little breaker attachment right here. Kind of dig around the base of that palm a little bit and then hit it with the chain again see if we can work it out of there i just want to pull it out you know like a bad tooth get rid of it we got a downspout here that just dumps right here on the ground we're not putting a drain system in so um, that means this water that comes down here, the collection of dirt on the roof and stuff like that, then coming down here, dumping out on color concrete. That's something you need, we'll need to watch and try to keep clean from so it doesn't get permanently stained. Although we're putting a good sealer on here, so that's gonna help too from staining it. Anyway, stay tuned for uh, one and two on this job and we'll work through this one. Have a good one, talk to you later.